Congress, led by our President, President Muhammad Buhari, all coming back from the back waters of the opposition, agreed to form a party whose credo would be the welfare of the people of Nigeria. They agreed that we will keep our focus on the greatest happiness of the greatest number of our people. They affirmed that the reason for government's existence is to ensure the provision of the means and the environment for all to prosper and to live in peace. They decided that we would rise above ethnicity, above religion, and other parochial considerations in the design and implementation of policies and in the choice of men and women who would be appointed or elected to serve. Mr. President wrapped these principles into three major concerns, security, economy, and the fight against corruption. Eight years on, the government of our party and the Nigerian people has embarked on the largest investment in infrastructure in our history. Investments in rail, in roads, in power, and broadband connectivity. We have birthed an irreversible agricultural revolution, investing more in agriculture than any previous government in the history of our nation. We have established the largest social investment program in Sub-Saharan in Sub Africa, feeding 9.5 million children daily under our homegrown school feeding program. Over 4 million beneficiaries of our government empowerment and enterprise program, the market money, trader money, farmer money. Our private sector has, despite constraints, continued to do wonders. Only a few days ago, Mr. President commissioned one of the, lar the largest fertilizer plants in Africa and one of the largest in the world. And in a few months, the largest single line refinery in the world will become operational in this government, under this government, and in this nation. Since 2015, in the tech sector, our young men and women have established world class companies. Today, Nigeria can boast of six unicorns, tech companies valued at over $1 billion each. Of course, it has not been a smooth journey. It couldn't possibly be. The years of building are always difficult and sometimes painful. The building of a great edifice requires deep roots into the ground, as deep sometimes as the grand, as the grand edifice that it will support. We cannot deny the difficulties we as a party and the government and indeed our people have been through. Even in the past two years, the COVID pandemic has worsened our economic circumstances. And we've had to tackle terrorist activities, insurgencies and security challenges in parts of the country. But our people have remained steadfast, resilient and determined to see it is a Nigeria of all our dreams. And our government has remained steadfast also, determined, committed, and focused. So to you members of our great party, in the coming months and years, we must remain resolute and committed and focused on the vision of Mr. President to deliver on the economy and security for all and the fight against corruption. Our eyes must remain fixed on three things. One, jobs. Two, jobs. Three, jobs. We must focus on the objective of taking a hundred million people out of poverty in this decade, as promised by this government under the leadership of President Muhammad Bukhari. We will actualize the pledge of universal health coverage for all. We will continue undaunted in the task of building infrastructure that will be the foundation of the great modern economy of our dreams. We will continue in the task of building a strong, united, fair and just Nigeria. A Nigeria where every young man and woman can find opportunities to work and prosper. 
and we will not we will not relent. We will not look back and will not falter. And by the grace of God, this party, our party, the All Progressive Congress, will in the coming decades lead Nigeria and its great peoples to its manifest destiny. Before I take my seat, I want to specially congratulate all members of the All Progressive Congress. This is a party that was forged from the opposition, a party that came from disparate peoples and ideas, all from the opposition. But some men sat together and decided to form this party. And I want to mention their names just so that we can congratulate them and commend them specially. Beginning with the leader of that group, President Muhammad Buhari, whose vision and whose direction brought about that, that merger that became known as the APC. Chief B.C. Akonde, His Excellency, former Governor of Oshun State, Ashiwa Jumbola Abe Tinobu, the national leader, His Excellency Aliu Muhammadu, former Governor of Sokoto State, His Excellency Nasir El Rufai, present Governor of Aduna State, His Excellency Dr. Gunaya Onu, also a former Governor, and His Excellency Rogers Oporoja, former Governor of Imo State. These men, amongst others, sat together to craft what today is known as the All Progressive Congress, Africa's largest political party, and will be Africa's most successful political party. May God continue to bless the All Progressive Congress, and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much.